Hey, Maria, back with another video. It's 7.18 p.m. It is January 19th, I believe it is. Yeah, let me take a look. Yeah, it's the 19th. Um, yeah, Saturday the 19th of January, and I'm getting ready for bed. Yes, it's early, but, you know, I like to shut my brain down at a certain time because, you know, it just... Overthinking really doesn't do me much good at this point, so, you know, it's just better for me to go to bed early, which is fine, I guess, you know. Of course, I get up early, early anyway, so then I can have more time to be bored, right? <laughs> but seriously, um, I guess, you know, I do have a few things I got to take care of tomorrow, so um, that'll take up some of my day. And, of course, I have laundry, you know, to take care of, and that takes kind of, uh, oh, at least a few, about an hour or so. Um, you know, I, I've been talking a lot about making space and this is what basically what my video is about, um, today. Uh, I thought I'd do something different. So I've been watching a lot of videos on organization and, um, you know, it's just kind of funny. I never thought I had to organize anything, but you know, I really, I realize that I understand that I live in a very small apartment, which is good for one person, you know, but I have, you know, some people look at my stuff and they would say, oh, you know, you don't have very much stuff because a lot of people have, like, tons of stuff. I would say that I have a decent amount of stuff so much that I have a storage shed. Now, I don't have anything valuable or anything like that. Um, most of the things I have are just, like, pictures that I don't really want to hang. Um, some of it is clothes that I, you know, I don't want to throw away because I want to wear them one day, you know, um, because I really don't have anywhere to wear them to, but still, so I don't want to throw them away. And so I'll hang on to those. I have some, you know, books and, um, you know, just things, you know, that you don't want to get rid of, but they, you don't really want them in your house either, you know what I mean? So, um, but not just that, you know, it's like I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, furniture-wise, you know, I have um, a very small couch, which, you know, is fine for my apartment, and considering it's just me in there, and I got a slipcover, which I think I showed that in the video, but mostly this, this video is about organization, and, you know, I'm content with the way that my living room looks right now. Um, I think it looks fine. I'm just going to kind of give you a quick look at my my living room and then my the rest of my house, and then I'll wait for the, my last room, which is my room. And my room is just like, I'm so disgusted with it, it's not even funny. But right now, this is what my living room looks like. This is, I don't know if you can see, because there's a lot of blurring here. Here's my little arts and crafts area, and my sewing box, and my storage of all my stuff. You know, um, gosh, the, the, this video looks really bad from where I can see. It's kind of blurry. I hope it doesn't come out like that on the video. But this lamp right here, I need a new lamp, okay? Like, I need a floor lamp because this this lamp is pretty, well, it's not really old, but it's not sufficient for the space of this room. And this lamp only has, like, uh, goes up to 60 watts, you know, it, when it comes to light bulbs. And it gets pretty dingy. I like it bright sometimes, you know. Living rooms are typically supposed to be more mellow, a laid black back type room. And so most people don't really like bright lighting. But I have a slash living room and craft room. Here we have this little space here right behind the couch. So you can see that um, I need <laughs> bright a bright light, you know. Um, I, I was thinking about getting a night light, but not light light, but a sewing or desk tape, desk lamp. But if I have a lamp right there, a tall one, you know, then it could serve for both purposes. You know, I could have a, a sufficient lighting for when I want to work, um, sew, or I want to do some art um, at night and I can see, you know, well. Right now, what I do is I turn the light on in the kitchen, which is very close to my sewing table. So therefore, it kind of helps a little bit, but doesn't give me enough light. But this lamp light, I have got to get rid of it. It's driving me crazy. Anyway, so moving on here, here's my television set. And this is my big long coffee table, which I'm going to have to get rid of because it is taking up too much space. Now, I will not throw it away. I'll probably just put it in my storage unit and probably won't ever put it in my house for use anymore. But 
what I will do is I might use it one day if I ever move out of here and then put it like in a backyard or something and put plants or something on it. I won't throw it away. So this is like where my door area is, you know, and that's fine. And then I hang up my little coats and stuff like that over here. This is my room. And then right here we have a mirror and then a little table here on the side. And then, um, but this right here, I would say this is very organized. I ended up throwing away a lot of old craft supplies. Some of the old patterns that I had made myself for certain crafts, I got rid of. Um, those were like plush dolls that I made or whatever. And I really don't have much use for those anymore. So, um... But, you know, I was talking about the frames that I got. These dollar store frames are not bad frames, okay? Some of them, like this one right here, I liked it because it was just plain black. Um, I think the outside is made of plastic, okay? Which I'm not a plastic lover either, either because, you know, pl some plastics just look cheap, especially the real shiny ones. But this is a more of a matte finish, I guess. So it doesn't look so bad. Some of them you can actually get at the dollar store. You can get them in real wood. Like this was supposed to be wood, but it, it's plastic, okay? But it's kind of like dulled down in color like the other black one. So it looks more wood like wood type so it doesn't look bad um, but just be careful about the dollar store they do, like I said you can find some um, frames that are actual wood I don't know if they're made of like a pine or something but you can find them at the dollar store usually those are the ones for like uh, the for the five by seven frames um, I haven't really seen any eight by ten frames made of wood uh, most of them are plastic but the five by five seven um, and I think the smaller one um, smaller ones are usually, or you can, you can usually find those made of wood. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're not bad. And then I also got these, I made these a few, about a year ago. And I just said, you know, at first they didn't have a frame and I thought, okay, I, they need a frame that would look much better with a frame. And they do. Okay. The one in the middle, I didn't buy, make that one. I actually bought that. But these two right here, um, these are stencil artwork, you know, and I like working with stencils. I do. It's fun because, you know, you can just <laughs> basically lay it down and paint over it. And then you got a picture, which looks pretty good. These right here, um, I made these by, um, by stencil by hand, meaning like, you know, just took a, no, I'm sorry, I didn't use a stencil. I use a compass, okay? They're just a bunch of circles closer together. Um, but these are the frames that I got for them. These are white. And if they weren't up on the wall, they would look, um, like before these pictures that I had, they were just little round circles and I just put them on the wall, you know? And they looked okay, but they look better framed. I mean, when they're framed, they don't look um, as round because they are round discs, basically. But, um... I just don't look better in a frame, okay? So I bought these frames. And if these frames were like off, like on a close shelf where you could inspect them closely, they wouldn't look as good, these frames, because these are one of the cheap plastic ones. And they are kind of shiny and they don't look, you know, I guess what you want to call it. Um, they look cheap, okay? <laughs> they do. But, you know, for up on the wall where people can't really look at it that closely, it doesn't look bad. So, you know, not bad. Um, so this is my little kitchen area, my little kitchen table. And yes, these chairs. I mean, I got these chairs for like $4 a piece at the thrift store. And they were, um, they're, I don't know, they're those old chairs that you see in old, old, like 1970s conference rooms or something. Anyway, um, I just made, you know, covers for them with you know, just fabric and I've changed the, I've changed the fabric several times right now. I, I got these like little polka dot patterns on it, which look okay. They look okay. Anyway, this is some of more of my homemade art <laughs> that I've made and these right here. Um, this is my kitchen area. Now my kitchen area is very small as you can see. Okay. Here's my microwave and my kitchen sink. And then we have this Stuff. There's my art up there, the pink right there. I don't know if you can make it out, but that's it. Now there's some of my art. Um, this is my kit, my um, refrigerator area, and of course my stove. Now, um, oh, and I just recently painted these. I, I painted this pair, and you know, it, it, you probably think that looks really, really mediocre, and it is mediocre. Okay, I'm not a professional painter, but you know, I did my best. I will say, as far as coloring. My coloring is getting better, you know, because like I did these in different colors. I added different, you know, more realistic coloring to the pair than I would normally. I would usually would just slap some yellow paint on it and call it good. But I actually did put some effort into it. I don't like the shape of my pair. I mean, pairs come in various shapes. We all know this, right? But 
Um, pears, you know, some of the pears that I've seen like on YouTube and other other paintings of pears, they are more pointed, more, more bulbous at the bottom. And, but whatever, you know what I mean? That's not bad. Okay, so I, I did this picture. I redid it, which I thought it came out pretty good. You know, I added flowers to it this time. I like my apple. I just made this little apple, you know. Painted this one myself, and I was kind of proud of it, you know, because I like the color of it. But anyway, this is about space. Sorry, I got a little carried away. So up here, I have like my wok, and I have a popcorn popper, and um, they're out of the way, you know. But I keep thinking I still could use some more space. I need like a spice rack, you know. I was thinking about getting a tall, like little roller table that goes in the middle between the refrigerator. This is my little tiny refrigerator, um, my tiny refrigerator, and my stove. And that way I could just like pick up the spices. Right now I keep them over my kitchen area. And as you can tell, it's just kind of awkward having to grab spices as I'm cooking. But this is my kitchen. You take four big steps and you're out of it already. Like you walk from here and do, 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 you're like over here in the hallway. This is my hallway, which, you know, I mean, you've seen one hallway. I guess you've seen them all, right? This is my hallway. I keep my clock in here. And some crappy art that I've made. This, I, it was so horrible. You know, I, it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, you know. But I just stuck it on the wall anyway. It's not bad, but it certainly isn't good. Um, and this is some of the art that I've made before. But this is my closet. This could use some organization, I'll tell you that. Um, you know, I'd like to get all this cleared out. As well as stuff here at the bottom where I can get, get a little bit more organization. Um, so what I really want, um, I could use a toolbox because right now all my tools are like in the bottom underneath all my washing supplies. So it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's awkward. It's awkward, you know, uh, but storage, I, I need more storage, okay? I, I do utilize in here in the kitchen things on the top, like that right there, that big, <laughs> big bulbous thing right there is my crock pot and I store it on top of the cabinets, which I'm very glad that I do have these up these these cabinets here on top. So that helps me a little bit. Um, and then up here on this right here, I have my fruit dehydrator. Um, and I, you know, these little covers, I made them out of old tablecloths, you know, vinyl tablecloths, which work really well. I've made these right here because you don't want them to get dusty. It gets dusty up there and you don't want all that dust under. These are also made of um, old um, tablecloths, vinyl tablecloths. You just cut out a pattern and slip it in there. <laughs> so that's my walk up there and that's my popcorn popper. <laughs> anyway, so here's my bathroom. My bathroom is just kind of, you know, you've seen one bathroom, you've seen them all. But this is my bathroom. The spacing in here is really small. I mean, it's like you got your toilet, you got your sink, you have your shower, turn around, and you're right back out the door. I mean, it's very, I think you could probably put like maybe four people in that bathroom and you're gonna start like suffering for, you know, struggling for air because it's really, really small. My bedroom is horrible. I will tell you my bedroom is horrible. I'm not going to show it to you too much. There's my bed, my stuffies, okay, we all know. Um, and then I'm just kind of, the, the furniture in here is just really bad. Um, I meant to redo it, but it's like this, the front of the drawers are kind of made of a very light, I guess you could call them particle board. The base of the, the furniture is made of wood, but the, but the, um, drawers are like a particle board in the front and they're very brittle. And I, my intention was to repaint it. I wanted to paint it pink or turquoise or something like that. But, you know, I realized that these drawers to me are too much of an effort for, and besides, you know, with the, with the dresser, the matching desk and the night table, I feel as though it's really crowding me out. Like it's like, it's so crowded in here. And then I have a very small closet space. You know, my closet space is over here. This is my closet. And I made a curtain for it because when I got here, it didn't have, it didn't have a closet door. So what I went, I went to the store and I bought two curtains. Okay. Actually four panels. Cause they, you know, they sell them separately, which I will never understand why they sell curtain curtain patterns you know in single pairs like that it just wow anyway so i bought panels i'm sorry panels so i bought these right here and made like a valence for this at the top and then here's the curtain here and i really don't have a lot of closet space i mean my closet space is really 
really small, okay? Um, even if I didn't have a lot of clothes, it would still be a lot, rather small. Because, like, most people, I have a little bit more than, um, I don't know, I got more than seven pairs of shoes. But my, I would say, let's just say somebody who, who doesn't change clothes or very often or whatever, they usually just wear jeans or whatever, it would still be very small, okay? So anyway, I always have to, because of um, these drawers and stuff like that, I don't have a lot of space for my, um, you know, slippers. And these are like my nightgowns and stuff like that. So I buy these plastic things. And I'm like, okay, I, I want to talk a little bit more about portable closets, okay? Because my friend recommended me, recommended that I get one. And now I'm like hooked on looking at these portable closets, which is really what I want. I'm thinking about getting huge cubicles of portable closet space and keeping like old work clothes like work clothes that you'd wear nice ones that you wear in the office some of my nice dresses and stuff like that in my closet here and keeping my everyday type regular wear clothes into the portable closet and just kind of keep it separate because I'm it's just getting ridiculous but what I like to do is get plenty of um this is my desk area okay <laughs> really okay I really I'm getting really annoyed with my bedroom right now because it's just not pleasant. <laughs> so it can, I could use a lot of help when it comes to what's going on in my bedroom. But, um, you know, I'd like to roll out this right here, get this out of the way. And not necessarily throw it away, but um, I figured I could just store tools in the hallway. Tools, things that I could easily grab instead of keeping it in this hall closet here. Because that's just not working, okay? But you'll notice if... You know, if you were following along this this thing right here, my, my house goes in a circle. So I have two bedroom doors here, one right here. And if I'm walking around the house, I'm going to end up, here's something I got, go back to my bathroom. I'm going to go right back to my bedroom. So it's, it's, it's kind of cute. I mean, I like it. It's, it's cute. I mean, I would have had fun playing hide and seek in a little house like this when I was little. It just, just because, but anyway... Um, but as an adult, you know, it's just kind of a unique thing. But, um, so yeah, you know, I, I need space. I need space, okay? Um, as far as my office supplies, I'm like, okay, well, what am I going to do with that? Because eventually I'm getting rid of this desk, okay? So what will I do with that? I'm like, okay, well, then I guess I'll just keep my envelopes and, like, my, my stamps and my, you know, all the mailing-type information that I need. I need to find a place for that, some sort of organization for that. Um, and then, yeah, you know, I, I'm just like, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, but, you know, sometimes it's just, <sighs> when you live in a cramped house, you want space, and you'll, you'll do just about anything to get it. And aside from that, I'm trying to divert my attention away from all my other woes and sorrows, which are plenty um, but <laughs> I'm just trying to think about other things. And I guess me focusing on my house is kind of a distraction, which is nice, you know. It doesn't take much, you know, in my house. I, I don't need a bunch of stuff. Um, I just want it organized, that's all. And as far as, I mean, look at my jewelry. Look at all my jewelry stuff. It's a mess. I mean, I, what I want to do is I want to get, um... Um, I mean, I still like wearing earrings, but I could get rid of some of my earrings. I can. Okay. I can part with some of them. I don't need all of them. I was thinking about getting, um, just one small little box and putting it away and storing it away. Um, and you know, just, it's things that little, little things that, you know, where, where would I put that all, you know? And I, I don't really want a jewelry box anymore. Because, you know, I don't really wear necklaces. I don't wear, um, every once in a while I'll wear a necklace. Every once in a blue moon. That's like, you know, something might come in my head and say, oh, good, wear a necklace with that shirt. Then I'll wear a necklace with that shirt. But really, if I'm going to wear any earrings, it's mostly, I mean, to any jewelry, it's going to be earrings. Um, but I do have like some earring pair, pair with sets, like where you get the earrings and you get the necklace too. Um, but it just, I don't, it doesn't really occur to me to, to, to put them on, um, and that's course, you know, but whatever, some of them I'm going to keep, and some of them I'm getting rid of, you know, just, just the way it is, um, and these are not expensive ones, although I do have, like, one that's rather, I wouldn't say costly, but it's like, yeah, I certainly wouldn't have paid that money for it, so you obviously know it's a gift, you know, some of these are nicely made wooden type, um, what do you call it, 
jewelry pieces that somebody hand carved, which is which is really nice. But um, but not like a diamonds. I never had any diamonds or anything like that. I never had anything like that. Um, if I did, I'd be like, I would have probably had to end up pawning it because of some of the situations that I had been in in the past. So, you know, <laughs> I, I just wouldn't, uh, I just don't have a need for that. But they're pretty, I guess, on some women's hands, you know. they so, women who have those little dainty hands, you know what I'm talking about? Dainty hands. No boils, blisters, warts or anything. They've got, you know... These slender little fingers, and just it just always looks nice on their hands, you know. Goody for them. Anyway, back to my organization. I want to pull a lot of this stuff off the wall, you know. Some of my, my art projects that don't come out so well, I just throw up my bedroom, but a lot of it I'm going to be tossing out, you know. Um, and then just kind of looking for some of the nice, I guess we call it inexpensive art. If I, if I make something that looks good for my um, house, I will put it, I will hang it up. You know, sometimes it does come out in a way that I look at as satisfactory. And if it's satisfactory, then, you know, it gets my stamp of approval. It can have a, a find a space on my wall. If it's not, then, you know, it was a nice try and I guess it's going in the trash. Or I paint over that board some at some other time, you know. But, um, you know, I think I, I want my bedroom color wise to be more um I'm debating it's like you know I'd like to get some new um I need me I need new rugs in here and I certainly need to get some new bedding I have bedding but it's like you know I'm just sick of it already um I keep thinking I want pink I want pink I want um I want um pink and blues you know I love those colors for for a bedroom um because they're very nurturing and uh, they are. They're extremely nurturing, okay? I mean, you're feeling like shit, like pink, and, and those colors are really soothing to a person. And then I kept thinking, you know, I also like, like, more of the earthy tones for a bedroom, too. You know, so um, we'll see how that works. But right now, my main focus is getting this stuff organized in a way that doesn't look like crap. And I can put everything in one space. I saw a video on folding laundry and folding clothes that I never realized to the many different ways that you can actually fold a t-shirt. I'm like, oh my God. And the way that these people did it, you know, and I actually mimicked some of their, their skills with my like my nightgowns that which I keep in this store. I did a I, I did a very sloppy job, mind you, okay? But basically you're just rolling it up. You're folding it and you're rolling it up in a rolling ball. And I'm like, that's so brilliant, you know? And then I got to rewatch that one, how they folded the sheets, because, you know, I'm like, wow. You know, when you can fold, when a one person can fold a bedroom sheet all by themselves without having to beg somebody to help them, that's pretty goddamn impressive. At least it is to me. <laughs> that has been a big struggle of mine for a long time, you know? Anyway. I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I'll be back with another video later. Bye.